Hey guys, VTech here, Blueberry Hill. So, continuation of pilings. I probably won't show too many videos of this, but uh, just do a little bit of uh, videoing of the high ones, the tall pilings, and then uh, later on in this video, you'll see Angie and myself doing about six of them uh, that are part of our living room and our kitchen. Uh, little shorter ones. We knocked them out, and uh, that, that one's more of a time lapse. Um, here you see me doing it's a sped up video, but uh, I'm, I'm working on the back corner of our master bedroom. You see the sono tube in the back. It's got the scaffold beside it, and uh, all I'm doing is just uh, about 10 bags of concrete, mixing and pouring it in there. Manual labor. So the mixer is a great tool. Uh, basically, I do two bags at a time. Uh, these are the uh, Sacrete Maximizer 5500 psi concrete. Uh, they say it's 67 percent more spread I don't know what that really means but uh, they're still 80 pounds uh, I think they're slightly bigger than like the uh, the quick read stuff um, they only give you 35 bags per pallet instead of uh, 40 like the quick quick read stuff does anyway these are a higher uh, harder concrete for you know more bigger things whatever we're over killing it uh, obviously we're not gonna have a house that weighs uh, you know 200,000 pounds but regardless uh, they should hold up the house pretty good um, right now I'm doing, I'm trying to n not get the tractor all full of concrete, but once I dump the concrete in the bucket, I drive it over to the uh, scaffold, position it, then I hop up there and I uh, spoon feed it into the conduit. Uh, took about 10 bags, so about 5 versions of this. <laughs> it's kind of funny watching the speed, it's put up video of this. Anyway, rinse and repeat. So this concrete is uh, interesting. So you hit, see me? I think I hit the. Uh, you just see me redoing the uh, level of the, the tube. Um, I support it with these uh, two by fours, and when I'm pouring the concrete in the, the beginning, um, I have to make sure it's still level and in the right place. So here you see me resetting it. That's moving quite a bit. That was kind of interesting. Anyway, uh, I think the the sped up video doesn't show me doing the level, but I'm doing the level, then I. You can't see me doing what I'm doing there. I'm shoveling dirt at the bottom of the, the sono tube, so it'll keep the, the bottom from moving around. Um, you can see it vibrate a little bit initially when you start filling the thing up, and then it becomes nice and solid. Make sure it's level, and then later on I'm going to laser it for the uh, the height of the uh, the metal support that I'm putting in the top. One. So this stuff dries pretty quick, so you have to clean as you go. Um, plus, it helps keep everything nice and clean from the concrete. You don't want to mix uh, old concrete with new concrete. So, wash out the bucket. I'm trying to not get the uh, tractor all full of concrete because when it dries on something, it's it's still hard to get it off. Um, but anyway, so here I am. I'm uh, you just saw a very quick glimpse of me doing uh, the rebar. Uh, I put four number fours rebar into each post um, and then I just continue filling it up until it hits the top and then I put a plate uh, which I made from uh, you might have seen the other video where I was making the plates for each post that the containers will get welded to anyway fun fun
So when the conquer gets uh, near the top where I'm going to put the plate on, I you saw me popping it there. That gets all uh, levels it out a little bit and makes it all slide down nice. Then I use a laser level. I've got that running all the time basically, and I uh, preset the height. I go get the plate and then uh, I shove it in there. Um, forgot my tool, so I have to go get it. Then I put the plate in, laser it again, and make sure it's the right height. Um, there might be some shimming going on before we do place the containers, but uh, and you should be pushing. I actually push down on the uh, stick there to push the plate into the concrete. Once it starts beeping at me, I know I'm good. I spoon out the rest and uh, off I go. So several days have uh, passed since I did the, the prior section of this video. Here I am, uh, we're doing six posts, and just going to help me here. We're doing the top part, uh, the ones you see at the top on the right, that's the, the kitchen area. Two containers go there, and then right in front where I'm mixing the concrete, there's one other container, and our, kind of our living room is between that one and the kitchen area. Anyway, here comes Angie, help me out. Uh, we preset all the stuff, drilled holes for the... Uh, the, into the rocks where the, some of these conduits are, are very surface level. We drilled three to four holes per, usually three, per rock. Uh, put some uh, rebar in there and now we're uh, setting them and putting the concrete in. Um, yeah, this went pretty easy because it wasn't too hard. They're, you know, waist high. So we, we banged this out in a couple hours and uh, all was good. The hard, one, hard part's going to be doing the next few days. We're going to be doing the our offices and our apartment, and those are three to seven or eight feet off the ground. So that's going to be the harder work. So I set the plate in. Actually, before I set the plate in, I make sure the concrete uh, close to the right height. Put the plate in there, then I laser it again and uh, make sure it's good. Move on to the next one. So this was pretty easy. We used maybe I think ten bags total. For these six posts uh pretty pretty good uh we're a little just to let you know we're a little bit over budget on the post because uh i underestimated the number and the, the actual number of bags we needed plus the number of conduits um i didn't really count it up or measure everything because some of the holes are deeper than the others um what you see on the right you see the truck there full of concrete and i have 12 more conduits uh sitting there uh, sonotube sorry and uh, we'll be using those for the offices and the, uh, the apartment in the next few days. We might show you a couple of videos from that. I'm not sure yet because uh, I'm sure you guys are tired of watching uh, just filling tubes with concrete. Yeah, fun anyway, isn't it?
So that's on a tube I'm working on right now. That one's uh that one and the one to the left are right at surface level. There's big sheets of rock right there. We just drilled holes into them, put the rebar in, and set the concrete into it. Uh, they're not going anywhere. They're huge. Um, and then Angie's working on uh, cleaning up the area around each each tube. Um, and we we did pretty good here. We used every little bit of concrete we mixed up, so no waste. And uh, six posts, yay! Anyway, thanks for watching. See you guys later.